looking at uh, what uh, the word implies social protection is something that has to do with uh, availability of what is uh, needed by a common man i mean the general citizens uh, in terms of health care uh, education uh, means of livelihood i can in a nutshell i can say social protection is about human capital development and when we say human capital development, we mean uh, anything that has to do with the three components, that the health and nutrition, education, and uh, labor force. So if you can achieve these three to the citizens, you are given social protection. Looking at uh, what social protection is, uh, it can be uh, preventive, can be promotive, uh, can be uh, transformative. So if you can be able to prevent or promote or uh, what do you call it, transform citizens' life. The Jigawa State Government presently is given 900 million per annum for pre-drugs. Uh, that means targeting pregnant mothers and children under the age of five. So you can see on the health uh, aspect, 900, almost a billion naira is being expended yearly on health care for pregnant mothers and children under the age of five. Then looking at the education, there is a law, or I can say a, a policy in place on targeting the pre girl child education. So you can see that if uh, a girl can be given education free, uh, social protection is really working. And going by the water sanitation and hygiene and nutrition, you can see on the nutrition aspect, they have, uh, even during the period of COVID, that is 2020, the beginning of 2020, uh, the first quarter, on the second quarter, the state government has provided money for uh, ready to use therapeutic food up to 80 million naira. You can see the, the pandemic is uh, really disturbing the state, but still the governor has the heart to provide 80 million for ready to use therapeutic food to be used in outpatient therapeutic program centers.